You should have said mark twice. My Do not adjust your set. You are not seeing double. Talking about 3D printing tonight. It is all the rage. As you can probably tell, the results are so lifelike, it's downright scary. When we come right back tonight, I'm going to show you how these designs are put together in a matter of hours and what makes them so realistic. All right, now look at this. From making intricate models to modern medicine, 3D printing is the new thing, and you will not need your 3D glasses to see it, to see how these printers are changing the way we bring new products to life. One of the best products I know is right here, S. Mark Wilson. Hello. That's right. You and got Mark a chance Wilson. To Say hello to Mark, Mark and Mark. Mark. That's amazing. you got to go inside the, the facility to see how it works. It's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, of course, this is not about printing people, but we want to give you an idea <laughs> of what it can do. I know I, I can't stop looking at this without being freaked out. It's a plastic <laughs> sort of a ceramic type material, so they actually can break. This could if I dropped it. They can't print skin, of course, yet, but you can see how accurate the scanning and printing process has really become. When you think about the fact that something like this, which took months, perhaps weeks to make years ago, can now be mass produced in just a matter of hours. This would open up a whole new world of prospects and profitability for young entrepreneurs. Forget flat ideas on paper. Tomorrow's next big thing comes to life in 3D. Just shows what you can do with a 3D printer. 3D printers are growing trends. They've gotten more reliable, they're easier to use, the materials are better, so it's just, you know, it's like a lot of high technologies these days. It just gets better, cheaper, and faster. It's how Lori Breedemeyer and her husband gave birth to their unique baby teething toys. They love the reactions they get from other people when they walk by and see a baby chomping down on a chicken wing. The popularity meant popping out new prototypes, like this lollipop teething toy. Before, it took 11 to 12 months, and once we came here, you know, even with all the collaboration back and forth, it only took a month. Cutting down the production time is creating a lot of buzz around all kinds of inventions. It's everything from jewelry to medical implants to custom-made, you know, products. Anything that's a kind of a low-volume, really quick turnaround is, is a good candidate for 3D printing. The key to 3D printing is the 3D scanner. Its ability to get every angle so precisely produces results that look about as real as the real thing. Unlike traditional manufacturing processes that usually start with a solid block and, and remove material, 3D printers grow parts up uh, you know, from the bottom up layer by layer. The printing process is complicated and requires computer-aided design skills. But here's how it works. After scanning the item, we head to the printer. We're looking at it, as you can see, in, in 3D. And we can even stack them up in 3D and print as many as we can fit in this build chamber. The printer glues together layers of powder. Basically what's left in here is the unglued powder which gets recycled. What's it made of? All kinds of materials from plastics to nylons, even metals. The thing that's really uh, uh, impresses me is some of this direct ma metal laser sintering. So they're taking a powdered metal and melting it together with a laser. So they can do very strong parts, very complicated parts. The result, everything from this intricate ear implant to this less complicated Mark Wilson mask. It only took five hours to print this one. We clean up the part. Technology creating possibilities that can be scary or scary good. Just shows what you can do with a 3D printer. So what are the chances that we're going to have a 3D printer in our home sometime soon? Well, the prices actually keep coming down. Almost about $1,000 a printer, and that's a big deal. We're talking about probably tens of thousands of dollars just a couple of years ago. Again, in order to operate these, though, you've got to have CAD training, computer-assisted design, in addition to knowing how to operate these sorts of machines. They're not machines we can run out and buy at Office Depot uh, no. or Staples just yet. But uh, And this is not cheap, by the way. The cost to make this mask is about 50 bucks. Again, if you have one of those machines, you'd pay about 250 bucks. Let me, let me do this. Look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. I needed more makeup that day, apparently. <laughs> and I didn't shave. I can hardly tell the part, two of you apart. It's pretty close. It's pretty, <laughs> uh, some people couldn't either. I've been accused of a lot of things this past week, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's been all over the building. <laughs>
<laughs> well, Angela can tell the difference. I know. That. Yes, some of us can. But yeah, cool. but imagine the possibilities. That that's that's the difficult part about this story to tell. Is is say this computer it can't be manufactured anymore. Right. Uh, in a matter of a couple of scans. Uh, with the right time, it might be expensive if you're printing only one, but in theory you could recreate something solid, of course. I'm not sure, thankfully, we can recreate humans just yet, but who knows. That You've got the sense. veins in your eyeballs I know. It's, it's even eerie. my scars from all my brothers. They're all there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Paul. This is Patrick. <laughs> They're all there. <laughs> this yep. is great. Thank yep. you very much. Yep. Sure. It's That's fascinating. Cool. That's it cool. is. Well,